And this is what I came up with. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So and I create weekly content on filmmaking, editing tutorials and gear review. And if that is something you'll be into, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button to be in the know of what I'll be up to. About a month ago, I saw this Nike commercial that you can't stop us at and it was absolutely epic. As of right now, I think it has about 58 million views and it was just so inspirational and the way that it was edited was just so amazing. If you haven't seen that commercial, I'll be playing a little bit of that right now. Sporting events are postponed or cancelled. But whatever it is, we'll find a way. And when things aren't fair, we'll come together for change. We have a responsibility to make this world a better place. And no matter how bad it gets, we will always come back stronger. Because nothing can stop what we can do together. So apparently for this commercial, the editors had over 4,000 hours of footage to work with, which is an insane amount of footage. The split screens came together very seamlessly as well, and you felt like you're watching one scene as opposed to two videos coming together in a split screen. Although I didn't have 4,000 hours of footage, I thought I would recreate this at using free stock footage, as well as some other footage that I had available to me. So in today's video, I'll show you how I recreated my version of the Nike ad commercial. There are two free stock footage websites that are available to you at no cost. So the first one is pexels.com and the other one is Mixkit. And as usual with these stock footage websites, it'll be great if you contribute or donate to these creators who are letting us use their footage for free. So before I got started, I browsed through these websites to see what sort of sport footage they had available. So this video that I recreated myself was done with footage from these free stock websites as well as some clips from Storyblocks, which I have an account for. And this is not sponsored by anyone. These are just some of the websites that I personally like to use. And I'm just sharing this resource so that you can take advantage of it as well. For these to work, you had to find footage that had similar framing, similar speed, similar focal length, as well as similar camera movement. And because I did not have 4,000 hours of clips to work with, it was very difficult to make something very seamless. But I think with what I was able to get, this is not bad at all. So let's fire up Premiere Pro and I'll show you how I edited a couple of these scenes. So I already have created my sequence in Premiere Pro and I already found two clips that I think would match well. We have this clip here of this person with the bat, the baseball bat, and this other one as well. They both have very similar framings. I'll bring them both into the timeline. You can click and drag, keep the existing settings. If possible, it's good to also use 4K footage in case you need to scale in or zoom in or to match that framing. I like this part where he, this person starts to bring the, back, the bat up. So let's put a point there, right click, you add a marker. That's how you add a marker. And let's go to the second clip here. And I also want to select the part where this person also brings that bat up as well. 
add a marker in that section as well. So now let's bring this clip on top. You can uh, press the plus button on your keyboard to zoom in into your timeline. Be able to see the framing. Um, you can lower the opacity on the top clip. So you can click on effects, opacity. Let's turn off the stopwatch and select 50% opacity. It is at this point that you can drag around your clip and try to match it along with the one underneath. So let's go back right here. That's the point that we had marked earlier. The two people here, they, as they bring their bat up and get ready, the guy on the clip on top, he actually, he moves quite off quite a lot. So that might not work too well. So let's find a point in the clip where he doesn't move too much. And instead of using that motion, I think what we'll, what we'll do here is just have this part right here where they're both just ready. So we only have to worry about the top clip. So once you have that, we can zoom in a little bit more on the top clip and adjust it a little bit more. What happens now if I try to bring the top clip up is that there's not enough video footage. So the bottom, you can see how the bottom also um, moves up and there is no video down there. So what I could do here in a situation like this is I can also zoom in a little bit on the bottom clip. So we'll cut the clips at this point. We can select both, click delete to get rid of them. So now we can, what we can do is bring the opacity back on the top clip up to 100. You can go to effects and type crop and you can either double click with the top clip selected or you can drag it onto the clip. On, on the effect controls panel, you click on crop and then you can drag the left marker right here. So now we can do some finessing and the faces don't really line up properly here. So what we can do is the top clip, I have it on the right side of the screen. So let's work with that. And you see the top part of the cap here. So we can line that up and that will help us match the clips a little bit better. What you could do at this point as well is also animate at some keyframes for position on the bottom clip. So it could animate and follow the clip on the right. We'll add a keyframe here for position. We'll move the current time indicator a little bit forward. And at this point, let's see, we can adjust the top, the bottom clip just a little bit and adjust it right about here, I believe. Maybe just for scale, just a tiny bit. Uh, and keep in mind that scaling up the footage by this much is usually not recommended because you lose a lot of quality. But in terms of today's demo, we'll let it slide. All right, so now I have these two clips that I'll be trying to match. I have this first clip of a goalie making a save right there. And I have this second clip of a man shooting a soccer ball. One thing to note about these two clips is that the direction of the ball is the same. So it goes from right to left on the screen. If they were going in an opposite direction, you could easily fix that with a horizontal flip effect. So this is the point where the ball comes into the frame. So we want this clip to be on the left side of the screen. Now for this part, we will start right here and then we'll trim it, get rid of the first part. And it is at this point right here that the ball will transition to the next clip in that split screen effect. So the top clip will start somewhere here. We can nudge the position for X. And the bottom clip, we can move a little bit to the left. So it is at this point right here, where the clip of the man shooting the ball, that the ball hits that point here in the, in the goal post. And if we scrub through the footage, we can see that there is that point where the ball disappears from one clip 
and it appears on the next clip. So at this point, what I want to do is match the position of the ball as it enters the second screen. So now at this point, we can bring the opacity back to 100 and add in the crop effect. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So this is how I edited this video using mostly stock footage. So I hope you also learn a few editing tips as I show you how I edited some of these sequences together, especially some of these split screens. After all the clips were put together and edited together, I went on to Epidemic Sound, which is where I find my music. And I try to find an inspirational sport, you know, epic, euphoric sports winning track just to add on to that feel. And on top of the soundtrack, I also layered the video with different sound effects that would correspond to some of the different clips or different sports that you were seeing on the scene. And it's important to know that sound design really brings the viewer in and puts the viewer in that scene. So this type of split screen video is something that you could try on your own as well. You can try to find your own free stock footage and then just play around with different footage. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about my mock Nike commercial. And if you learned something new from this video and you found value out of this, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Your support will be greatly appreciated. And if you're already subscribed and you're here again, thanks so much for being here. So that is all for today, guys. Until next time.